Ray tracing is already the standard method for rendering movies and animation. Important innovations made it possible to do it in real time over the past years. Ray tracing is also available in Unity. Unity uses DXR for ray tracing. You need at least a NVIDIA graphics card from the Pascal generation, but it is recommended to use a graphics card from the Turing generation with dedicated ray tracing cores. DXR is only accessible in the HDRP render pipeline and is still in preview. To use ray tracing, you have to start an HDRP project or create a new one. Then click in the render pipeline wizard, add hdrp and dxr on fix all. After some time and an editor reload, dxr is active. The individual functions are only added via a volume. But what can ray tracing achieve? Ambient occlusion has a ray tracing option. It creates better shading in the dark areas of the scene than the standard SAAO. Shadows and contact shadows have a ray tracing option too. It improves the overall presentation of them in relation to the light source and their distance. Recursive rendering is a different name for ray traced reflections. They create sharp and dynamic reflections in your scene. Raytrace Global Illuminations enables a detailed calculation of indirect lighting without being pre-calculated. All of these functions can become very computational intensive. A loss in the framerate must be taken into account. 